Hey guys, it's Emily. Today I will be teaching you how to make a pillow in SketchUp using Sandbox. So what we are going to do is start off by... Okay, so move on like this so you can be facing the top from bird's eye view. And you click your rectangle tool, start at your origin, and bring out the desired size of your pillow. I'm not going by dimensions in the corner, I'm just doing this to show you. Um, so what we will do now is use a angle tool, and if it says tangent edge and turns purple, that means it's like even and good size. So it'll normally like automatically take you to the size you are for all the other sides. That one's a bit weird. That might work a bit better. And um, I'll just quickly delete that. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so then we grab our angle tool. Start from the midpoint in each one. Still clicking it and just so it's like a big line. Like it's almost like a rainbow. And then do the same on the other side, except another way, I guess. And it, you should know you're able to click that so it evens out. And then we do the same for these. And you join it there. Again, for this one. Join it there. But because we want to make pillows realistic, I normally delete this line here, this middle line after I've done everything, and then I will normally come to the middle and just do like, like you may have to zoom in a bit, and make like a little head bent because people are going to be sleeping in the pillow, so to make it more realistic you should put a head bent in it, with a tongue twister, and um, then it looks more realistic I guess and if you want to make this side even with all the other sides you just do this again except you can just erase that line or not if that doesn't want to work so you might have to zoom in a little bit and just make sure that all the lines are connecting so I should be able to delete this line now maybe hopefully Nope, okay. We have one more time. Sometimes it helps to make, we could just always just do this way and it'll say tangent to edge. So, oh no, nope, that was on the side. So you've got to make sure that it is what on, because the computer's trying to figure out what you're trying to do. So if you just be patient with it, sometimes you've got to swivel your mouse around a little bit. There you go. And now you can zoom back out, select the whole thing, and then create. So you press from contours and it makes creates a sandbox. And now it's got a little pillow dent in it. So what we want to do now is highlight it because that's just one side of your pillow. Press the move button and compress control move so this moves and then what we want to do is okay so then press scale press the middle green button go down type in negative one that makes it the same as the other side okay so you're with me so far you can pause the video if you want and sort out yours if you're copying, if you're following this, and then click on this, move tool, grab the corner, and slide it in under there, should work. You can press window and go to soften edges, this softens the edges on the pillow, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It all depends, really. Um, no, okay, that won't just... And then you should be able to delete 
these lines from the pillow. Oops, just careful not to delete those lines. And then you've got a pillow using sandbox. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.